Uh, this essay is about ginger, and um, just recently we uh, celebrated her 18th month birthday. Now I, <laughs> I realize that most dog lovers don't um, celebrate 18 month birthdays, but when she was um, just a puppy, she was only six months old. Um, I had her spayed and they tucked her, or tacked her stomach down so it wouldn't flip. And there were some complications to that you know, surgery, um, but there were minor things and she was fine. And then about a month ago, um, I took her back into the vet and said, you know, I don't know what's wrong with her. She's drooling and and the vet said she has the flu. And I said, but you know, she's got the flu shot. And the vet said, you know, people get flu shots and still get the flu. So um, it's taken Ginger about three or four weeks to get over the flu. And um, I decided to, um, to get a new bed for her. Um, and um, a new rawhide bone, which is about 18 inches long, has huge knots at either end. And within a month or so, she will have devoured that bone into little pieces that I just throw away. Um, and then a squeaky toy. And and all my friends uh, that you know, see me with Ginger know all about Ginger's being spayed and having problems and having this flu and having problems with drooling. And, and so I told them all I was going to write an article about it. It's this cute article. I wrote the article after the celebration of her 18th month birthday. And it was a happy time for us all. Gave my web administrator my new essay about Ginger's 18th month birthday. And sat down and am doing the video to send to him tonight. This morning started as a regular morning, Junior and I. We get up at 6.30 in the morning, we go out for a walk, go to a part where you can play chuck it without getting into people's yards and had a good time for half an hour, 45 minutes. I came home with Ginger, I did some online working, uh, classes I'm teaching, wrote a couple of essays, and at noon we went out for a long walk around the lake, and probably 25% of the lake is undeveloped as far as housing, and at that point I just take her off her leash and she just runs wild in the, what I call the, you know, the moors or the badlands, just simple places where houses haven't been built. Came home, had lunch. I went back to my computer and Ginger laid down in her new bed with her toy and her rawhide bone. I worked for an hour or so and happened to go upstairs to get a cup of coffee or something. I, and Ginger will wake up instantly when she knows that, that she can hear something. And she, you know. So she starts to follow me, and I turn around and say, How are you doing, Ginger? And I looked at her, and she's limping on her left front paw. So um, this essay was simply going to be a story about her 18th month birthday um, tomorrow unless she gets over this limp, I will have to um, take her back to the vet. So um, initially this article is just uh, telling you about the celebrating Ginger's 18 month of, of, of sheer happiness between the two of us except for her being spayed and her having flu. And now my concern is, <laughs> why is she limping when she's, nothing's happened to her foot? So um, 
I appreciate your time watching, listening to this video, and reading this essay. You take care.